<laughs> that was Sam. Good morning from Pop Century. It's our first official morning at Disney World. So if you'll notice when you have watched the video from our travel day, we didn't uh, vlog anything after we got checked into the resort. Sam and I were both very tired and we were actually meeting up with Jeff and Angela of Biz Our Dream and I was getting, excuse me, upgraded to my annual pass. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups this morning. And it was a long wait and then we had dinner and Sam and I came back and literally cr crashed out and went to bed. That is the best five hours of sleep I've had in the past, you know, 24 hours. <laughs> and Sam's over here going, yeah. So. We, you just missed breakfast. We got the bounty platter, and I will tell I will tell you what we got and how much we paid. We got a cold beverage. We just paid for a soda, and it was four dollars. We got an apple juice, which was three forty nine. Sam got a croissant, which was three forty nine, and we got the waffle platter, which apparently is different from the bounty platter, and it was nine ninety nine. Now, see, Sam and I get the bounty platter, but we don't like. Um, processed eggs that way so we always ask for extra breakfast potatoes instead of eggs and they are always really happy to oblige so that is how we have spent our morning and of course we got up and showered and dressed and whatnot this morning <coughs> so this morning right only Mickey can do that so Mickey has invited us to Epcot so let's tell you what's going on Well, Lena, you told us all the prices, but how much did you pay for breakfast? We paid about $23. And the nice thing about um, the soda is that it has three fills for $4. So the initial one, and then you can refill it twice after the first one. Um, so, yeah, that may seem a little high. $1.33. But yeah. roughly $1.33 a glass, plus... We don't drink a whole lot of soda. We tend to try to drink water, and we could just get a glass for water. That's totally something we could do in the mornings as well. So today's park is going to be Epcot, and this morning we are actually up early because we have the Destinations Discover Tour, and we have to be at Epcot by 8.15, and it is currently 7 o'clock. We both woke up about 5.30, got up, took our time getting showered, dressed, and I have my Marie scrunchie in my hair. Um, Cargo by so Cargo Sew Break the Magic um, made this, and you can find her on Instagram, and I will link that Instagram account below. Give you a close up of it here. It's got Marie, and so since we were going to be in World Showcase, I figured perfect one for World Showcase. So that is what we are doing in the morning and then we have several fast passes and then again this evening we will be meeting up with Jeff, Angela, Zach and Abby of Does Our Dreams. So we, I'm going to throw away my trash for breakfast. Sam went back to the room to grab our umbrella since there is a chance of rain later today and then we're going to find a bus. Time to go to Epcot. Our bus is like right over there at the stop sign and we have one of the new character buses and it's Pluto and I will take a picture and insert it here. are through security sorry I didn't video but we were waiting on bag check and going through security and you just can't video there and now we are waiting for our tour and I thought I would show you our view behind spaceship earth at the pen trading area and this is our view it's just so weird because last time we were here that was Starbucks <laughs> just so weird And we saw our tour started at 8.30, 8.15, and it's now like 2 o'clock. Yeah. We got done about 1, but we had to eat. Um, we will do a dining review later at that restaurant. It was really busy, and you really couldn't hear us. So, next, so we've rested a little bit, and now we're kind of on our regular park schedule. So now we are in line for test track. And we are the fast, we have a fast pass. The standby wait is 105 minutes. 
single the rider. Single rider is 55, and there's a line for fast pass, so we may be a little while, right? All right. About 55 minutes. Probably about an hour wait. Oh well, we want to do it, right? Yeah. All right. So we are taking you to on test track. We've relaxed a little bit, and I've got ears on, so guess where we're going? Well, considering I upgraded my uh, same guitar, one part kick it, I have an idea. You want to tell him? Uh, it includes a castle, a haunted house, and a great big beautiful tomorrow. That's right, everybody. <laughs> we're headed to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Yep. And when we got in, Mickey has a 30 minute wait, so we are in line to meet Mickey Mouse. The King Mouse. The King Mouse. Pretty quick, pretty fast. So maybe it won't be a full 30 minutes. We're moving again. So we saw Mickey and we were gonna get in line to see Tinkerbell, but the Tinkerbell line like just stopped moving. So we had to get to our fast pass anyway. I managed to get a um, Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid fast pass, which I did video and will be a ride POV. And then once we had checked in, I was able to get a fast pass for meeting Ariel herself. Um, and then I was able to pick up a Little Mermaid um, character meet fast pass. And so we're gonna meet Ariel, and then I think we're gonna grab some dinner. What do we eat? Columbia Hot House. So. Good chowder weather. He, Sam's wanting some clam chowder. Keep moving out of the video, so. So, we're gonna see Ariel, have dinner, and then I think we're gonna head back to the room. And then we'll let him do a recap of the day for you. Right? Okay. Alright, so it's been a busy day for our first official day in the theme parks. So I'll start with this morning and I'll kind of give you a rundown recap of the whole day. So this morning. This morning started out, we got up, dressed, and we had breakfast at, excuse me, the Pop Century Food Court. We shared a bounty platter, and we had a, a refillable drink. Um, we just purchased a soft drink, and it had three fills on it. And we got an apple juice and spent about um, $30, which is really good. Oh, and Sam had a croissant. Um, and so, croissant, croissant. And from there, we got on the very first bus from Epcot to, from Pop Century to Epcot. We actually were there before security even opened. And just to note, security, I don't know about the other parks, but Epcot opens at 7.40 for a 9 a.m. park opening. When, as, after we went through security, um, we got into the line that said, um, character breakfast and tours. And they actually scanned my band to confirm that we had a tour. And once we had that confirmed, we were directed to go to the pin training station behind Spaceship Earth. And so from there, we were given um, a headset so that we could hear. And there was so much fun things that we did on that tour. And so make sure that you watch our review of the Destinations Discovered Tour, which will be its own separate video with a lot of photos and a lot. And Sam and I will both be just doing the discussion on that tour because it was absolutely fantastic. And I will, what I will say now is if you have Julie as your tour guide, unbelievable. Major, major props to her. Did a shout out, cast compliment. 100% deserved it. 
The tour ran from about 8.30 to about 1. And at 1 o'clock, um, it was over. And we, from there, we went back to the China Pavilion and we had lunch. I had the orange chicken and rice with an order of egg rolls and a glass of water. And Sam had the spicy chicken with white rice and an order of egg rolls and a glass of water. And something to note if you don't know, at a quick service, you can request a glass of water and it's absolutely free and it's filtered so it doesn't have a funky Florida taste. So from there, we went to our first fast pass, which was test track. And we actually got caught um, with, they were having some problems with the, um, Weather. The weather and it what they were having problems with the weather and they were having problems with the design program where you design your car and I did take some pictures of that and I will insert those at the end of this video. Um, I tried to video it but my finger ended up either in the shot or I stopped the video too many times. I was really trying to figure out how to hold my phone. I have a Joby and I was just worried that if I put it in it it was going to like try to fly out. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how to um, video that because I really would like to try again. Uh, from there, we wandered over. Well, and then we got caught because it was weather in the vicinity, so they had to shut down the ride. But it was only shut down for, what, about maybe, maybe 10 minutes tops. So then we got on the ride. So that delay actually put us right in time for living with the land. Plans to video that. Well, then my phone was telling me I couldn't record, so I had to restart my phone, and by the time it came back up and I could record again, obviously, because you're seeing this video, um, we were halfway through the ride, and I'm like, what a bummer, because I actually requested and got the very front of the boat. Don't worry, I will try again. So, from there, um, we were kind of getting tired, and we had been, you know, yesterday... Um, our travel day was such a crazy day and we had, we went to bed late, got up early. Uh, we decided to just come back to the room and rest. Well, as we were, um, discussing this, I asked Sam if he might want to upgrade his ticket because we, we both went into vacation with a 10 day base ticket, which means we did not have park hoppers. It was one park per day. That's it. On our arrival night, which was yesterday, which would be day one of this series, um, I upgraded to an annual pass. And um, today, as we were leaving, Sam actually upgraded to a 10-day park hopper. And it was $85 to upgrade to a um, park hopper. But now we kind of have a little bit more flexibility with the rest of our vacation. And... You know, I don't have to feel bad about saying, hey, you know, let's maybe run over to Magic Kingdom. They're open until, you know, a couple hours later and whatnot. Um, it, otherwise, it would have been just me. And, you know, it's not, I, I want to, this is our vacation trip. You know, I want to be able to spend some time with him. So we did that. Um, my phone was running low. My, I'd only grabbed one battery charger this morning. So we came back to the room. We sorted out a few things. I, we rested for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then we decided, okay, we're going to go to Magic Kingdom. And so I looked at, I brought up on the app, if you have the My Disney Experience app, once you are at, at, at in Walt Disney World, you can go to My Resort and click on Bus Times, and it will tell you when the bus is going to be at the resort next for a particular park. And I will say that ours seems to be running like three minutes fast, either or either the bus is fast or the app is a little slow because it said that the bus was going to be there, what, 4.50, I think it was. And we were booking. And we were booking to get there. And the bus was already there. So, but we made it on, you know, with, you know, several minutes to spare. So, we jumped on the bus and went to Magic Kingdom. We started out, uh, we walked in, and uh, to Mickey was a 30-minute wait. So, we got our picture taken with Mickey, and I will insert that picture, I will insert all pictures at the end of the um, video, since this is a little recap of the day. Um, from there, we decided to go see Tinkerbell, but it was weird. 
Um, as, as, she as, never right, and we kind of mentioned that in a previous clip while we were waiting to go see Ariel. It was like the line didn't move. Everyone was like sitting there. It was like a picnic. And so a lot of people were leaving. And so Sam and I just decided to um, leave as well. We were like, yeah, we'll go find something else. Um, by, the, by that point, it was almost time for our Fast Pass because I was able to change our third Fast Pass from Epcot to Magic Kingdom. And it was um, Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid, which I was able to do a ride video of. So be watching for that POV um, video to come later. It is the first POV video that I've done. So we'll see how this goes. From there, well, once I checked in, because I had used, that was my third one, I could book another Fast Pass. And I was actually able to get an aerial Fast Pass that would become active right after um, we got off uh, the Little Mermaid ride. So we went over to Ariel, and she was awesome, very talkative. Um, well, I Ariel than some of them are. Um, this friend of Ariel was really awesome she was very talkative very interactive didn't really care that we were adults and didn't have kids so that was awesome um i have been having characters sign ornaments and she really thought it was such a cool idea we talked about thingamabobs and going hunting for what's what's call it and she's going to talk to scuttle about christmas trees and ornaments so that should be a very interesting conversation i want to be a bug on the wall i want to yeah sam said he wants to be a bug on the wall when that conversation happens so from there we decided that we were both you know we weren't hungry but we needed to eat something so we went to columbia harbor house sam had the new england clam chowder and a glass of water and i had the chicken nugget kids meal um and instead of the smoothie and yogurt, you can substitute fries and a cookie. And that's what I did. I substituted fries and a cookie. And I had the apple juice and a glass of water. And it was about $27 again. We have been staying roughly in the $30 to $35 range um, for the two of us to eat. Today was a little different um, because the places that we did choose to eat, like... I can't have seafood, so I couldn't share Sam's clam chowder. And granted, I'm not quite sure even if I could. I wouldn't allow it. Sam, yeah, Sam wouldn't be sharing anyway. But the nice thing, because I, while I, I, I will be the first to admit that I am a chunky gal, um, I tend to snack more than I probably should, and that's the big reason of it. But I eat really small meals. You can ask Sam, do I eat really big meals? on an average basis no i eat small things so a kid's meal is actually perfect for me and because we're paying out of pocket um they really don't care so my i will probably end up eating kids meals a couple more times um during the trip so from there we were we were getting tired it, it had been it's been it'd been a long day at that point and so we decided to head out of the magic kingdom and had come back to the room we sought for a couple photo pass photos, and like I said, all photos will be at the end of the um, video. And we got on, but we waited maybe about 10 minutes for a bus, maybe 15. It wasn't more than 15. So, and then we, we stopped at Petals, which is the poolside bar, and Sam got a Scotch and Coke, and I got a Sunshine margarita sam said that his was more of a, yeah, a, a virgin, virgin scotch and coke because you could he's like he couldn't taste the scotch in it my margarita was really light oh hold on so sorry i paused this for a second sam handed me his drink to try one i can smell the alcohol in it and two i could taste it I so i think that sam's just used to the way delta makes mixed or drinks Viagra. or he makes his own drinks at home Woo! He only normally drinks one. So, after that, we just decided to come to the room and get ready for tomorrow. Um, so, overall, it was a really good first day. We really enjoyed the tour. And like I said, we will be doing a review of that tour together. Um, whether we do that review from here at the resort, which we, we might do that on New Year's Eve as well. We're yeah, hanging out. Maybe. 
We've got some. There's going to be maybe some mango. Yeah. You know, so our, I want to say you can come, you can be ready for vacation with a planned itinerary and, no and it will change 100%. I don't care if you're the most organized person or the most laid back roll with the flow. Your plans will change 5,000 times even while you're on the trip. So that is an overview of the day. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Yes, there's a lot of clips and those photos. When 90% of your day is involved in a tour, um, that is just how it tends to go. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. So many more vacation videos coming soon. Um, make sure to ring the bell to get notifications. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I am Lena with Paper Scissors of Vacations Oh My, and we'll see you in the theme parks. Bye guys!